and Mike Swift reporting live from the floor of the Expo Hall at M-Hacks. We got some crazy hacks here. We're gonna go walk around and talk to some awesome people. So I'm up here with one of the teams that built a really awesome hack. How hacks the Nerf turret? All the communication is done over WebSockets and Redis Pub something. It starts on the client, so you just open this up in your web browser. Then the video is displayed using Flash. So it's sent from the Nerf Gun Sentry client over to our, to our web server and we're, we're all doing shared hosting with Web Faction. An Nginx plugin streams it over real-time messaging protocol. It doesn't have all the original parts inside of it. Uh, it took a lot of little safety features out of it so we can actually clear jams, <laughs> clear jams easily. And there's supposed to be a button right here too to activate the motors. Replace that with a relay so we can just control it with the microcontroller. Basically a two-wheel driven Nerf gun. Semi-auto, we didn't want to do full auto because we, our plan was to have all darts tracked whether we hit or miss. So that gives us time to be able to uh, count how many we've actually shot within certain intervals. Um, on top we have a connect and we're using uh, skeleton tracking. We can basically pick a body part and find out where in the frame it is. And that's being run in C sharp over here. And what that does is when it realizes it's out of the frame, it sends data through the serial cable into one of our PIC32 microcontrollers. And that's determining what needs to be done to put that body part back in the middle of the frame. Once it realizes that that body part's in the middle of the frame and has a decent shot, it's gonna send a command to fire the servo to hit you. You gotta stay in the box. Yeah, you, gotta stay, you gotta stay in the box. In the box. Ow. <laughs>